Hello, everybody. Um, I just left my real estate class for the day. It was really informative, so I enjoyed it. And I am back at the Home Depot again. I don't know if you guys can see. No, probably can't see the sign. Anyway, buying another stinking gallon of primer. So this is my third gallon of primer to paint over my walls in my apartment. Eric is actually golfing today after work, so I might just go over by myself and do a little bit of painting and cleaning and kind of just getting the last little bits of stuff out of there. Um, but I have been catching Pokemon and so has Eric. Eric's been catching Pokemon today too. He's like, I'm out of Pokeballs. I'm like, I don't know what to do. Um, so yeah, I've caught a whole bunch so far. I don't know how to be on a team or like get invited to a team. I don't know. My Pokemon, uh, my Pokemon name is Blushed Beauty with no the in front because it was too long. So just Blushed Beauty. Um, Eric, what is he? Hockey guy, 33 or something like that. I don't remember. Um, I'll have to ask him. I don't even know what his Pokemon name is and we did it together last night. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna get another freaking gallon of paint and then I wanna see if they're starting to put their um, seeds and stuff on sale so I can get some seeds for my garden for this next year. Um, and I totally just ate a blue, blue raspberry Jolly Rancher. <laughs> So I have a blue tongue, and um, there's a guy next to me who's probably like, what the fuck is she doing? Um, <laughs> don't care, I'm trying not to care. With vlogging, you have to learn not to care. Um, yeah, I totally forgot how much I really enjoy Jolly Ranchers, so there was that. I'm kind of tempted to go get some Jolly Ranchers because it was just really tasty. So there's that, and here's this guy next to me. He's now leaving. Wait, wait. There he goes. Once a Marine, always a Marine. Thank you for your service, sir. He's probably a very nice gentleman, but yeah. Back to Home Depot. I've never been to Home Depot so many times in my life as I have this last month. <laughs> Can't get over the blue tongue. All right. I just got back home from Le Home Depot and I will show you what seeds I got. First off, I got this little sort of greenhouse thing where it has dirt pods and you can start your seeds in here before you plant them, which I thought was a perfect idea for me right now because I don't know where I'm gonna put them out there just yet. Oh, this kid, you're my supervisor. You'd be a good supervisor. High five for planting things. Yes. Yes, that one high five. Thank you. Such a handsome boy. How's your ear feeling? Hmm? We need to clean that again today. Um, so I bought this little greenhouse and then I also bought some seeds. Okay. Um, so we have green squash, which are very traditional, and I really want some green squash because there's so much you can do with this. Um, and it is 50 to 58 days until harvest, so until you get to eat them. There's 30 days in a month, um, so that means in, well, at most 58 days, so 60 days, so in two months. So mid-July, which is where we're at, actually we're in the third week of July. August, September, so before it starts to get cold for fall. So we still have time to be able to plant these and we're good. Um, <clears throat> another thing I bought was cucumbers. Um, again, same thing. We still have plenty of time to be able to do this. 55 days to maturity, just like the other ones. So we can plant these suckers and be eating <clears throat> cucumbers and most importantly, making pickles, which Eric and I really want to do. Um, <coughs> I'm froggy. Um, and then I got some watermelons, some organic. I tried to get as much organic as I could. Um, so some organic, Martha Stewart, all sweet. Um, Uh-oh. These ones are not seedless. These are just regular, but they look sort of seedless. Anyway, um, this is going to be 25 to 28 pound. Um things and it is a 95 to 100 days to harvest so three months so 
mid-July, so we have August, September, October, mid-October. Um, that's 90 days. It doesn't really start getting super cold and it's been a really hot summer, so we should be fine. They'll be late watermelons if we get them at all, but whatever. Um, then I got these winter squash, which are butternut squash, and we really like butternut squash for a number of things, and these keep really well for a good long while, so if we get a whole bunch of butternut squash, squash then we can just set them aside for a little bit and then slowly munch on those, or worst case scenario, chop them up, put them in the freezer. Um, these are 85 days to maturity. Ta-da! Butternut squash, and we are in the zone that says April through August. So we're still in the perfect time to be able to plant these and get them while they're in season. And the last one that I got was some cabbage. Um, organic cabbage, 87 days to maturity. It says you can totally put it in some pots, and we have a whole bunch of pots downstairs, so I thought that might be neat. Um, and then these are either you plant them February and April or July and September, July through September. So these are perfectly on time. So there is what we have. Um, yeah. In the south, so in the fall. So eight inches apart in rows, cover with soil, blah, 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 blah. Seedlings emerge in 10 to 21 days. So we are gonna plant some rows of these in here, and I have one, two, three, four, five varieties. All right, so they are all planted, and I just went ahead and labeled them exactly what each row was for each of these. And then on the back, for example, so I put organic watermelon and then the variety, and on the back I put the plant date and the anticipated maturity date. So then when I put it in the ground, I can always just pull that out and check as a reminder, because otherwise I will forget. Ta -da. Here we go. <clears throat> I'm working for the last little bit here to clear off this desk, kind of try to make some sense of some of the stuff that I have um, and use this for storage and, you know, decoration. So I have this really beautiful platter and a matching soup tureen with a ceramic ladle. It's really beautiful. I've never really gotten a chance to use this soup tureen, so I am really excited to get it out of the box. And I'm just really happy to even look at it right now. Um, I have a whole ton of cake plates. This one is an antique one that um, my mother got as a wedding gift when she married my father for my grandmother. So we have that, I believe that's how it came to be. Anyway, it's got like gold along the edge, actual gold painting. Um, and then I have these two cake stands here and just some <laughs> silver um, candle holder thingies. Those are from Bath and Body Works. And then up here I have a um, silverware caddy, a my coffee carafe that's insulated, and I made that um, flower arrangement with my mom when she came to visit. Um, so m most of this decoration stuff, like this ceramic serveware, that caddy, that carafe, um, is all from a line called Southern Living. Um, my aunt used to sell it, so I have a ton of it, and I love it, and they're not in business anymore, which I'm really sad about, um, because I just really love their stuff, but I have so much of it anyways. Um, so, I also have the matching cookbook stand, which matches that caddy and the thing. It's all from the same collection, the Astoria collection. Um, so I just put a cookbook, it's a Southern Living cookbook, with peaches. I open that up. Um, and then over here I have a really big serving plate. It's kind of hard to tell the size of it, but it's pretty big. Um, 
then I've got all my cookbooks and just a whole bunch more like candle holders right there and some non-traditional recipe stuff. So I have a cake baking book there, a whole ton of folders that have cooking light recipes in them. Um, yeah, so there's my little desk area. There was just a ton of boxes and stuff on it, which are now kind of scattered here. So I've emptied these three, these two, I think I just need to store somewhere else. Um, and then I now have these other large bowls, which are really gorgeous. Um, and I love them, but where the heck do I put them? Oh, and here's the giant bowl with a stand that matches my plate over there in the corner. So it's a set and I love it. It's really beautiful. They're very nice quality. Um, oh yeah. And here are my jars on the counter, which you would put, you know, like flour, or sugar, or whatever you want in it. Um, and they match that <laughs> caddy set. And then here is my napkin holder, which matches. See the theme here? <laughs> Eric's like, oh my God, where's all this stuff going? All over the place. Um, yeah, I'm like the crazy lady with the house stuff. Um, and then this bowl, it is called a Brio Bowl. That's the design of it. Um, and it's from the Southern Living Gail Pittman collection. Um, I've never actually gotten to use the bowl, but I have used the plates. So I have all the coordinating plates, and all the plates are slightly different um, designs. Like ever so slightly. I think that one's not the same as that one, but they all match this bowl, so. I'm excited to have those all together. And then I have other decorative plates in here. Um, so, yeah. I have enough to entertain a lot of people. So much stuff. And then there's other big serving bowls there. And the smaller bowls that go with it. I have a lot of things. So many things. Who wants to come over for appetizers? Hmm? Um, and then I have these like wire tower things. And these you put like plates on top of. Um, so you can put two plates on them and then stack appetizers on it and stuff. And I have this one over here as well. This one's a three tier. <laughs> Eric's like, um, did you ever use these things? Will we use these? <laughs> Like, they'll get used. And I did use them in the past, so I just haven't used them in a couple of years because I haven't had them. So, yeah. Anyway, it's getting late. Eric went to bed like an hour and a half or two ago. And I've just been roaming around the house doing stuff. Um, tomorrow I have another training class and then um, really need to go to the apartment and finish up over there. We need to finish painting and cleaning and just turn in the keys and be done with it. So we're gonna try and work on that tomorrow. And tomorrow's homemade pizza day. So there's that. Anyway, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. If you're not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. We would love to hang out with you some more. I don't think you guys saw Eric at all today, but anyway, you'll see him tomorrow. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys have a good night. Bye.